I really don't know why I do some of the things I do. I have no explanation for it. But here, let's have a peek. Hey guys, Petrina here. Welcome back to my channel. Not long ago, I decided it was a good idea to shave off my female sideburns. And I say female sideburns because they're not really sideburns. They're like the hair that goes behind your ear that like grows right here. <laughs> but I came up with the bright idea of shaving them off. And of course, this is just a typical Petrina thing to do. I do the most random things and get the most random results. Now, I didn't do it for no reason. I didn't just wake up and decide I'm going to shave off my sideburns. I did it because I had got this at-home laser hair remover. When I first got the at-home laser hair remover, and I was trying to decide, like, well, where am I going to test this on? Yeah, of course I'm not going to do it on my armpits. Why would I do the obvious place? Why would you do it on your armpits? No, no, no. What, Petrina, why don't you do it on the side of your face? Definitely test this out on the side of your face and see how good it really works. Why? Why? Of all places, I picked the side of my face. In the beginning, it looked pretty cool, pretty clean, pretty like put together. The only thing that I realized really short into this whole journey was that this hair there grows back really fast. Well, at least the stubbles grow back really fast. So it would constantly look like I had like stubble coming back on the sides of my face, almost like whiskers, whiskers beside my ear or something. So it was becoming a lot of work because if I forgot to shave off the whiskers that seemed to grow back every other day, then suddenly I was walking around with whiskers sticking out of the side of my face. And if I was wearing my hair back or put my hair behind my ears, yeah, you can just see like fuzzy whiskers poking through. The upkeep just became too much and I decided I need to transition back to my natural state of having that hair there that goes behind my ears. And that's where the whole process, awkwardness of growing back my side hair came into play. I thought throughout lockdown was the perfect time to begin this process because you know, you're locked down for a couple months. All right, perfect time for me to grow back these uh, sideburns, grow back my side female hair or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but no, no, two months was not long enough. Over the two months, it was gradually changing all the time. It would grow back little by little by little. And I didn't worry about it so much. I didn't even notice unless I was making a video. Then suddenly I was feeling a little subconscious because in my videos, if I didn't have my hair down around my ears or if my hair was in a ponytail, I'm like, oh, there, there it is. There is that little fuzzy ear muff growing back there. And <laughs> it just doesn't make you feel very feminine. So I went through a cycle and it was slowly growing back, slowly getting more awkward. Yeah, just slowly making me wonder, why on earth did you pick the side of your face to try this on, Petrina? So then I decided, you know what? It is actually so funny and I can't stop laughing at myself just because <laughs> it is just ridiculous. All in the day in the life of Petrina and as much as I love being put together and you know, taking pride in doing beauty stuff, like this was one of those times where I think it was a massive fail. <laughs> And I think if I was ever to like do something like that again, which I won't because I'm actually like really fine with the hair on the side of my face, I would like go get a professional laser done because professional lasers are much, much stronger than at-home lasers. I figured I needed to share this because not only is it hilarious, but there might be some of you out there that you are holding the razor and you are about to shave off your sideburns, your side female hair. Yeah, and I'm telling you right now, whoa, no, put the razor down. Put the razor down because you don't want to do it. You definitely don't want to do it. It'll be the most awkward regrowth of your life. Take it from me, don't do it. Your armpits would be a better option. And if you do do it, you might just be left with something kind of like this. Isn't that the most beautiful classy female look you've ever seen. Look at, I could put some gel in them. I could gel them out like that. Oh yeah. I could probably put some mini braids if I wanted to, you know, braid them. Yeah, that's a little difficult. But you know, little twists. I don't know what I was thinking. I got really, really eager. And like, why would I go that high? Like I might as well just went up here because why would I go that high? Like this hair was actually like really long before. And why? Why did I feel the need to take it off? Yeah, like to test out an at-home laser hair remover, but look at that. It is now back to the length 
where I can just tuck it. It does come untucked sometimes, but it's actually at a really good length now because now I can wear ponytails again. Now if my hair gets blown like this in a video, you don't see my little furry earmuffs that are growing back. This is a massive beauty fail, but it was so good that I had to share it. Thanks for watching. And if you've ever had a massive beauty fail and you feel my pain, please do give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the bell to make sure you're notified every time I post a video. We'll see you soon guys. Now this is the at home shave off laser hair remover technique. And I think it's very, very progressive. I mean, this is with a little bit of like hair gel. If you wanna like stick it out a little bit. Um, this one's just au naturel. I also just have an interesting look going on.